This is a teaching video for the Thumb Ossification Composite Index System. Currently, the most accepted skeletal maturity assessment relies on assessing the morphology of 19 epiphyses in hand radiographs from all five digits. In each epiphysis, we classify according to the tanner White's House staging system, as shown in the column on the right-hand side. Our study has demonstrated that the tanner White House stage in the thumb epiphysis has a very high concordance rate to predict the same stage in the corresponding epiphysis in the remaining four digits. And therefore, we can simplify the hand staging system and focus on the thumb epiphysis by itself. This diagram shows the thumb ossification composite index, which is comprised of three key components. Firstly, the adductor sesamoid, which is either ossified or not ossified. Secondly, the distal phalanx physis, which can be open or fused. And lastly, the thumb proximal phalanx epiphyseal status, which is either covered, capped, or fused. The status and assessment sequence of these three key components bear important clinical messages regarding maturity level assessment. The adductor sesamoid tells us whether puberty of the child has started. The thumb distal phalangeal physis confirms whether peak height velocity has completed. And finally, the thumb proximal phalangeal epiphysis shows whether the peak height velocity has occurred. We have designed a clinical algorithm for a TOSI method. Now, we'll go over several examples to better illustrate the TOSI method. Let's start with TOSI stage 1. As you can see, the thumb adductor sesamoid has not yet ossified, and therefore, the distal phalangeal physis must be in an open status as puberty has not yet been reached. The next step is to look at the width of the thumb proximal phalangeal epiphysis and interpret whether it is less than or equal to the width of the metaphysis. This corresponds to the juvenile status of the growth curve. In our cohorts, we do not have any patients belong to this category. Now for TOSI stage 2. Again, the adductor sesamoid is not yet ossified, and the thumb distal phalangeal physis remains open. The next step is to assess the thumb proximal phalangeal epiphysis, and we can see that the width of the epiphysis is wider than the metaphysis. This corresponds to Tanner White's house stage F, in other words, covered epiphysis. In our cohorts, we found that 76% of the remaining four digits epiphysis belongs to stage F as well, and this is the prepubertal stage. Moving on to TOSI stage 3. The adductor sesamoid starts to ossify, while the distal phalangeal physis remains open. The ulna corner of the thumb proximal phalanx epiphysis is still roundish and in the covered stage. This corresponds to Tanner White's house stage F, and at this stage, the proximal phalanx and metacarpal bones has started to progress to stage G already. And this is the stage when puberty occurs. Now to TOSI stage 4. The adductor sesamoid is ossified, and the thumb distal phalangeal physis remains open. The ulna corner of the thumb proximal phalangeal epiphysis starts to cap, and we call this an early capped status because it's below the reference line drawn along the thumb proximal phalangeal base. This refers to Tanner White's house stage G, and 63% of the remaining four digital epiphysis has reached this stage as well. This is ascending phase in puberty just before peak height velocity. As we can clearly see, TOSI stage 2, 3, and 4 corresponds to Sanders' simplified skeletal maturity scoring system, stage 2. This shows the more fine and precise method of TOSI to predict the early phases of puberty before peak height of velocity. At TOSI stage 5, the adductor sesamoid is ossified and the thumb distal phalangeal physis remains open. Now the ulna corner of the thumb proximal phalangeal epiphysis has progressed to the late cap status, where the epiphysis touches or exceeds the reference line drawn along the thumb proximal phalangeal base. This is Tanner Whitehouse stage G, where 82% of ulnar four digits epiphysis are at stage G as well. TOSI 5 corresponds to Sanders stage 3, which is at the stage of the peak height velocity. At TOSI stage 6, 
It is marked by the complete fusion of the thumb distal phalangeal physis and the thumb proximal phalangeal epiphysis remains open. This matches Tanner Whitehouse stage I, and 63% of the remaining distal phalangeal epiphysis are at stage I. This corresponds to the period when Sanders stage 4 progresses to stage 5, which is the early descending phase in puberty when menarche occurs. Moving on to TOSI stage 7, the key findings is that the thumb proximal phalangeal epiphysis has started to fuse partially with both black and white band physis. This corresponds to Tanner Whitehouse stage H, where 55% of the remaining ulnar four digits epiphysis will have reached stage H as well. This matches with Sandra stage 6, the mid-descending phase in puberty. Lastly, for Tosi stage 8, it is featured by the complete fusion of the thumb proximal phalangeal epiphysis. This is Tanner Whitehouse stage I, where 90% of the remaining ulnar four digital epiphysis will have reached stage I as well, corresponding to Sanders stage 7. This is the late descending phase in puberty. Based on the above description, we can clearly identify that TOSI has very similar pubertals categories compared to Sanders staging system implying a precise and complete skeletal maturity prediction. This table shows a direct conversion of TOSI and the Sanders simplified skeletal maturity system, facilitating the user to better understand and correlate between the two systems. This concludes our teaching video.